hey you guys so today we're back with another video and today i was able to get me another plate from my friend's mom today she cooked neck bones rice and gravy and i asked for two portions of the dressing that she makes because it's just so good so let's eat you know i got my water Seems like that's all I drink now. Mm-hmm. That's a big piece. Okay, let's try those neck bones. Hiccups. smoked. You can tell that she smoked these. It's just so good. Not a lot of talking. These net bones is a good thing. She has not made them in a while. Well, mm. I'm starting to notice that I'm having less and less time to go out on, I mean, to hang out on like blog websites, like gossip websites. At the same time, I realized that I don't even watch no reality shows with drama no more that keep up mess. Like it just doesn't entertain me anymore. 
and I thought that would never happen because I love me some love and hip hop and all of that. I can't tell you the last time I seen no, I do know. But I just realized it. I haven't seen it since before the pandemic. But I just realized it when it showed up on like my explore page, a video, and I was like, dang, I can't even remember the last time I seen I love and hip hop. It was a scene with some people in there. I ain't never seen before. I was talking about love and hip hop in Atlanta. I was like, who are these people? That's how behind I am. I can tell you the last time I seen Real Housewives of Atlanta was the first season ever that Candy was on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I think I watched that whole season that she was ever on there. But after that, I never watched again. I don't even remember what it was that turned me off from watching it like I used to. It was just not entertaining to me no more. Like if it's not like YouTube or Marvel or some action film or documentary. Maybe a little mystery and horror. I don't watch it. just not entertaining to me no more. Mm. I will say I have not seen this new Marvel series that came out, She-Hulk. Because, and I feel like I've said it here before, I like to binge watch the entire season. I don't, I don't know why, but it's like, <clears throat> it's something about watching an episode and then having to wake a, wait a whole week for the newest episode to come on. And they leave you in like a cliffhanger of what's going to happen next. I don't like that. I've never liked that. But you can't. And it's like. They'll leave you in a cliffhanger. And then you got to wait a whole week to find out what's going to happen. I don't want to wait no whole week. I want to watch the episodes back to back. And so I, I mean, like, I binge watch, watch a lot of shows. I'm pretty sure once the Sheets Hulk series is done, of course I'm going to watch it because I'm a huge Marvel fan. But watching it week by week, I just can't get into it. Um, and I be anticipating these shows. So when folks be at work, like, did you see this newest episode of such and such that can drop? Nope. I'll see it when the whole thing is over with. Then I'll let you know what I think. This is my, this is Labor Day weekend. It's currently Saturday. Y'all will see this video on Monday. I had a whole three-day weekend planned out, but those plans got canceled. Which is fine. I 
Now I can just do other things. Um, I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I'm currently planning my B-Day trip. <laughs> I'm super excited about it. I've invited all my best friends, but only one of them said they can come, which is fine. It's definitely out of the country. So, um, and we both have our passports. I've never planned a B-Day trip ever in my life. Mm. And it was like last minute. Like I was already planning on going, because where I'm going is Dominican Republic. And so I used to go every year. And I had already made plans to spend New Year's in Dominican Republic. But then I was like, you know what? <clears throat> My birthday is literally two weeks after New Year's, so why not spend my birthday in Dominican Republic instead of for New Year's? Change of plans, so that's what's happening. And then I invited all of my best friends, but only one of them said she can come, so hopefully everything follows through so that she can come too. It's gonna be my uncle, aunts, and their friends, and then me and my best friend. I'm excited. I can't wait. Um, that's going on. And she's never been to the Dominican Republic. Right. She's been to Jamaica. I feel like she's been to two different parts of Jamaica. But never to Dominican Republic. So I'm excited. It's a resort that we always stay at. So, not to mention, I had already told her, like last year sometime, when I had made the decision I was going to sell my house. I said, <clears throat> once I sell my house, I want us to go on a trip somewhere. It could be in the country or out of the country. She, of course, said out the country. So I was like, okay, cool. And so... Now that my house is about to sell, I pick back up with that conversation because I had took her to the house to see the house so she could see, you know, before and after. And I brought the conversation up DM. So I'm excited. Seven day trip, Dominican Republic. Just relax, eat a lot. And go to sleep which is what I need I took off work yesterday y'all because every time I go get my hair color it takes hours it's a whole process so I knew it was gonna take her a while so I just took the whole day off, which I had PTO built up, but I just was like, let me just take the whole day off. And so she colored my roots or whatever. And I'm happy. Anywho. That's it for me, you guys. And as always, peace and love from me to you. And please be safe, y'all. Bye.